Hey there, today we're loading VMware remotely. Hey, this is Tom with Tom Tech Show. And one of the things that you have to do now that we're all kind of working from home or even just, just the fact that you have systems that are in a data center, you need to load software remotely. So, um, and connecting in, you need a few of those things. Uh, first of all, you need some type of uh, server that has some hardware in it and firmware that allows you to run. So whenever the server turns on, it boots up into this little micro operating system that allows you to remote and connect into it. Um, and then, of course, you're going to need a VPN connection. And that's just what I've done. I've got I've got a server that's in a data center, you know, some 1,400 miles away from me. And uh, I've got a Meraki router there. And that is set up for me to be able to VPN in. And now I can get to this console here, which says Integrated Dell Remote Access Controller, or IDRAC. Great acronym for short. And... Uh, this allows me to connect. Now, if you have an HP server, they have a system called ILO, Integrated Lights Out. So that allows you to do things, you know, without going to the server. It's lights out, meaning server room closed, lights off. Nobody needs to go in there. We used to have a sign above our server room that said, why are you here? And if you, you know, weren't replacing some physical type of hardware, you had to say, you know, like, think to yourself, why are you here? Why are you coming into this room? And how can we change that and alter that so that you don't have to go into the room? Because eventually that room that was in the office was going to be moved to a remote data center. So we just get people thinking, why are you here? Why are you going in here? Okay, so here's our iDRAC. We're going to log into it. Comes up with a screen. You can look at the different... Uh, health of the system you can check out the different uh, hardware pieces things make sure that everything is completely running there is this little thing right here this led right here this will tell you this will inform basically someone who happened to be at the console at at the server behind there there's a little blue led that will come on when you connect in so if you don't maybe don't know what server you're connecting into, you have somebody in, in the data center, you can go, okay, I connected in, which light is on? Oh, that one, okay, I'm on the right, you're on the correct server, or to tell people, go to the server with the blue light on, that's the one I'm in, change cables or, or, or do whatever, you have somebody physically at the server. Okay, but what we're going to do today is load VMware from remote and one thing you need to know about uh, the iDRAC versions is you need to have down here this license here says enterprise. You need to have the enterprise version in order to be able to get this other piece down here called virtual console. Now, uh, if you don't have that, then you're not getting the virtual console. And this makes this kind of hard to do. Um, it's not that much more money. I think the regular was 300 and the enterprise was $700. I think something like that. Uh, don't hold me to that. I'm just trying off the top of my head. I think the ILO, HP ILO, I think came with it. So that's kind of a difference here. Um, so if I click here, this is going to open up a virtual console and it's going to connect and it says no operating system. Be of course not, because I have not installed one yet. So how do I do that? So here in the panel here, there's this thing that says here, virtual media. So um, pulls up, opens this panel, say, click the button here, connect virtual media. Okay. So now we've now connected a virtual uh, DVD drive to our server. So now we can, in order to connect that, we need to choose a CD DVD file. And that's the uh, image here, the VMware hypervisor image. We click that and we say map device. You have to make sure and do all these things. You have to select the ISO and then say map device. Otherwise, it will not be connected. Okay, now, virtual says up here on the top, you're going to notice it says virtual media is connected, device map one, and here it will show my VMware VMVisor installer 7.0 U2A, bunch of, you know, the rest of the numbers and ISO. So, now I need to change the boot order, which this allows you to do from this console. We click boot and we say virtual CD DVD ISO. Click that. Do I want to change that? Yes, I do. Okay, now 
that's all set now we're set so then we can click power and we'll do a power cycle system cold boot we just need to have a little cold boot just so that it restarts we don't need to warm boot hard drive go through all the memory heavy memory checks and everything the cold boot will be fine so we click yes okay now we're going to get the same screens that you would get if you're actually at the server so um, inside data centers there's usually a uh, little cart that has you know, basically three wheels on a pole and that pole has a little shelf with a keyboard and a mouse and then there's upper there's a monitor sometimes there's two sometimes they're back to back you got keyboards on both sides and monitors on both sides they call that in the uh, data center the, the crash cart so uh, kind of like a medical crash cart kind of thing but um, in the data center, you really need to go check something out, do some diagnostics, find out what's actually going on. You can pull that up, plug it in, do some configuration, do some checking. Uh, but this is the screen that you'll be getting, you know, if you had a monitor plugged in. This is now being remoted to us by the virtual console. So it takes a few minutes for it to go through all of the memory checks and, and everything just like it would when it boots normally, but then it's going to boot directly into the VMware installer. So we'll get to that point, start it, and then we'll pause the video because this is going to take a while. It's going to actually be taking the ICE files from the ISO that are on my hard drive here on my local computer and sending that over the wire off to the data center. Okay. Here we go. It's going to take a minute. Okay, we're going through the rest of the devices. Now it says right there that boot to virtual CD request by iDRAC. So this tells me I know it's going to start my C ISO file, my CD that I put in there to install VMware. So it's got to check through our different RAID Ethernet devices. I've got one virtual RAID there ready to get the operating system installed. And here we go, we're getting close. We're getting very close to it starting. Okay. Getting there and here we go. Still says boot CD requested by IDRAC, which is good. You can do some other things. You can uh, chat, do keyboard stuff, screen capture, uh, different things with, you know, People there. Okay, so now we're here we are, ESXi 7, and it's going to automatically boot. So we have our CD loaded, we're launching, and here we go, pow. So now this is what would be happening if, you know, I were there and seeing it and had actually stuck the CD in and, and let it run. This is going to take a little bit longer, it has to transfer all of these files over the wire, so um, we're going to kind of skip in this video to, you know, the end when we get to the rest of the install and, and get that done and then actually show it coming up and having VMware. So right now we're going to take this break. It's going to be probably a half hour, 45 minutes for me, and it'll just be a minute for you. All right. So be right back. Okay, we have loaded all the files and we're here getting ready to uh, install VMware. So all the files have been transferred, so um, I don't need to really transfer any more information over the internet. So all those have been loaded. Uh, gonna hit OK, F11 to continue. Searching for my devices. May take a few minutes. Yes, this has been taking a few minutes over and over and over. Okay, so we have the uh, internal storage that we're going to install. Let's install this to. I can speak right now. So. Okay. Yes, we want to overwrite everything there. There's nothing there. US default. Okay, now then, our password. And enter. 
Okay, then we do F11 install, and we're going to now push uh, VMware 7.0.2 onto this system. It doesn't take that long <clears throat> to pull down. It's, of course, all the files are already copied there. They're staged. They're ready. There's enough memory on this thing uh, to get everything over there. Uh, but I'll let this go. We'll come back, and we'll connect again and uh, when it boots up into VMware and be all ready to go. So, hang on for another break. Okay, we've reached the end of our installation, and uh, it says remove installation media before rebooting. So we come back here to virtual media, and say unmap device, and boom, done. Close, and then we can hit enter, reboot, and we'll load into VMware. We don't need to, oh, well, here we go. This is the shutdown, getting ready to reboot. Probably don't need to watch all of this and the power on thing, so we're just gonna skip to where it's loaded. Here we go. Okay, we now have VMware up and running. So right here it's telling me uh, 10.2.7.25. So if we go, And dot two dot seven dot what was it twenty five ah twenty five I will get the login for VMware so now we've gone and we've set it up we've installed it it's now running. And we're able to connect in and then from here we can then now attach that to our VMware infrastructure and and get that running so that it's all connected with everything else so there we go we're done we're up and running we've got 32 CPUs 256 gigs of memory uh, all ready to go all ready to start being used for workloads and VMs and all of that so okay there we go. So definitely, if you're buying a Dell uh, server system, make sure you get the ILO Enterprise because the standard will not do this stuff, uh, or their iDRAC as it is. I think, I'm pretty sure the HP one comes with it. Just confirm that. Um, when you buy it, they may have changed their licensing. I've been off HP servers for oh, about eight years now, so um, that's been been a shift going from from one to the other but uh, different tools different things and everything else but uh, this is how you can get this up and running and connect remotely just need your VPN your iDRAC enterprise your ISO and boom you're off and running all right well thanks for watching this if you have any questions about how to load this and how I did this um, or a challenge of your own then let me know in the comments below thanks for watching <laughs>